Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Chanel Mitchell. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may now be seated today is tuesday october 11th 2022 now let's take a moment to calm ourselves down with a brain break Thanks for that amazing new breathing exercise. Now let's go learn a new word with word of the day. Hey Alex, how was your weekend? It was pretty good. I was at Genie Springs and I had to leave early because of the impending storm. Oh yeah, I did hear that there were going to be a storm coming very soon on Saturday. I definitely did pass by. I was at Orlando this weekend and I unfortunately had to leave because of the impending storm. The storm definitely stopped us from enjoying our weekend, but maybe next time. That's a good way to think. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word of the day. day. Now let's check in on our Hispanic Heritage Highlights with Nia. Thank you, Chanel. Hola, como estas, Patriots? Today's history is about Jose Andres. Jose Ramon Andres Prieta is the Barcelonian chef and founder of Word Central Kitchen, a nonprofit organization that provides meals during natural disasters. He was awarded in 2007 for the James Beard Foundation, Who's Who of Food and Beverage in America Award. Jose appeared on a new Disney show called Firebuds as Chef Al. One of his most famous dishes is a food called Paella. All this talk about chefs and food is making me really hungry. I definitely hope I can try his food one day. Now let's see what's cooking with Jasmine. Thank you, Nia. Today's lunch is beef tacos, black beans, ham and cheese sandwich, lettuce, tomato, salsa, pineapple tidbits, and your choice of milk. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Let's get back to Chanel. Thank you, Jasmine. I can't wait for lunch. Super Patriots, the instructional software challenge is still ongoing and ends on Thursday, October 20th, 2022. Let's keep flying through those lessons with an 80% or higher. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It is important to make sure that you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. Sports fans, our boys flag football and girls volleyball team have a game against Sagemont. The flag football game will be at 4 p.m. away at Tequista Trace, and the volleyball game will be at 4 p.m. away at Sagemont. Teachers, the Hispanic Heritage Bulletin Board contest is still going on. The winner will be announced on October 20th and will win a special prize. I can't wait to see all of your amazing boards. Students, our candy drive is still going on and ends October 20th. During this time, please bring in bags of wrapped candy to be donated to the fall festival. Make sure to bring a receipt to earn your volunteer hours. Students in the class with the most candy donated will win a pizza and ice cream party, and the teacher of the class with the most candy donated will win a lunch on admin and a free planning period. Speaking of the fall festival, it's coming up. It will be on October 29th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. There will be games, food vendors, candy, music, raffles, a haunted hallway, and more. Pre-sale tickets and ticket bundles are now on sale on My School Books. Make sure to buy your tickets now. Time to say no to drugs and participate in Spirit Week. 
Tomorrow, October 12th, let's wear neon colors and block out drugs. Students not participating need to wear a school uniform. The top three classes with the best attendance will win a pizza party. Patriots, this Thursday, final call for boys soccer tryouts. Make sure you have your sports package. See you there. Last week, the Patriot of the Month ceremony took clips. Let's look at some highlights. Joining us uh, this morning for our first Patriot of the Month ceremony for this school year. All right, family, so for this month, for Patriot of the Month, we're celebrating students that have positive attitudes. Let's give our kid marks to another round of applause. Now let's see what the weather looks like today with Melanie. Thank you, Chanel. Good morning, Patriots. You can expect an 88 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. Today is a great day to do anything outside. In other weather news, famous Eastern Island statues were damaged by a fire. Located in Chile, this island is home to more than a thousand of these historical statues. Some of them even date back to the 13th century. Unfortunately, some were damaged in a fire that people think was started intentionally. The amount of damage wasn't released to the public, but either way, a little damage still isn't good because these are national treasures. Now let's go to Sophia for the birthdays. Thank you, Melanie. Today's birthday boys and girls are Goddess Forbes, Shell Pierre, Isabel Ducoste, Aaliyah Egbert, Joelle Lara, Valentina Mendez. Happy birthday, now let's go back to Chanel. Thanks, Sophia. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. And now for Monday's Daily Challenge. Congrats to Ms. I am Dan Kwa, Ms. Merkel, Ms. June, Ms. Newton, Ms. Stone, and Ms. Marcos. You all had the correct response to Monday's Daily Challenge, which was, the more you take, the more you leave behind. What are they? The correct answer was footsteps. Now for today's Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge. If a giraffe has two eyes, a monkey has two eyes, and an elephant has two eyes, how many eyes do we have? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And remember, here at Pines, we are going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day!